Good morning, guys. Louisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, yesterday was Boxing Day, and that's holiday here in Australia. Technically, people, it's been a public holiday for that people can actually box all their um, Christmas ornaments and um, to put away for the next year. Well, in my case, I haven't done that because I keep mine till after Three Kings, which is, I think, January 6th or January 9th. I'm not quite sure. Last year, it was standing there um, till February, till I came back from um, overseas. But anyway, let's see this year what's going to be in store for me. But anyway, went boxing um, day shopping. It's like a Black Friday here um, compared to America. And was quite disappointed with some of the sales that they have. It would be just the same as the pre-Christmas sale. So, you know, I was hoping that I'd get like 70% off Christmas ornaments or what have you. But it is absolutely the same as um, the pre-Christmas sale, which is pretty much disappointing because you really have to wait for a parking spot like for hours. Well, I guess that's a little bit of an exaggerating exaggeration, but um, you'd wait quite a few, you know, quite a while to just get a parking spot only to get like 40% or 50% off. So quite disappointing. So anyway, I dropped by my local hardware store Bunnings where I usually buy my orchids and um, there was nothing in there. The only thing that was there the orchids was there is just two of these minis which I picked up one um, because it was quote unquote clearance well this little clearance is seven dollars which is quite I don't consider as clearance because um, this sells for about thirteen dollars so I would say it would be just half off. So clearance for me would be $2, $3, but I've never ever bought that low of um, a price with um, clearance orchids. I think the lowest one that I paid for was about $5. But anyway, um, I picked this one mainly because obviously my three rules is the root system. If I see, oops, if I see like green healthy roots, that would be, a go for me and then this is just a cosmetic thing um, that is not dying or anything like that that's just when they move the orchids here and there it gets caught up with another plant or what have you but that's all right that's just um, that's just a cosmetic thing but um, second one would be the leaves and it is very perky very perky so i'm happy with that and my third one that i actually think of before i bring an orchid home is the bloom in this case because in clearance that didn't happen because i don't know what color this would be normally they said that if the leaves has a tinge of purple or what have you it would be that color but in this case my iphone is not could be could be not but it has two spikes one um right here and the other one right here which i'm just about to cut because of it's dead nothing wrong with the plant again it's just the spike that's already spent its um life so i will cut that um, I think I'm going to leave her in moss because seems like she's happy there. I don't know yet. I don't think I want to do water culture on her. But then again, I change my mind from this minute to the next. So I'll just see how I feel once that I have cut her off and actually cleaned her. And yeah, so this is it for me, guys. If you like this video... Go ahead and give it a like or if you haven't subscribed already, I'd love to have you on board. Just go ahead and click that button and I'll see you on my next segment.